Hey everybody, Carby Susie, welcome to uh, Archives uh, number 15 uh, is coming right now. See, I haven't even looked at, uh, I haven't even looked at the at case prices yet. I mean, the draft class seems from, you know, from like, from what I have seen of it, like, I mean, pretty decent. I mean, some solid position players in there. Like, it doesn't look, uh, doesn't look soft. I don't know, Tops has been kind of like all over the place with like their, their pricing this year to me, it, it seems like. I mean, Tech was like way more expensive than than it normally is but at the same time like the tech content was better than it usually is so, ah, so maybe i'm just thinking into things in a, in, a, in a weird way i don't know pacers fan if there is, if I can get some people in this room, and I will do it through, uh, through Twitter and Facebook, then uh, I will make a mess of, uh, of Immaculate. Okay, Daisy, I did make a new uh, stuff, well, and that's not stuffing because I didn't stuff it in the bird. Because I don't think that's uh, sanitary. But a new dressing this year. The, the uh, dressing was based instead of like uh, breadcrumbs or whatever, it was uh, tater tot based. which was somewhat magical. I, I don't know. We watched, like, you, you ever heard of uh, something called Sunday Morning? It's like a, I don't know, CBS show, maybe. I don't know, it's like an hour and a half, like, news program. They just have, like, like stories on it. But like there was some guy that was like doing a news like a news story about tater tots, how like you know like they kind of invented them like after you know French fries or whatever because they were just like leftover shita, but like they didn't sell well early on because like the people that were selling them were basing them on like what their value was, so people thought they were too cheap to buy. Because they were selling for so cheap. So, like, they just bumped the price on tater tots. And people were like, oh, damn, if they're that, you know, if they're that much, then they must be good. So, it, it was an, an, an interesting deal there. So, Pacers fan forever. I promise you that uh, I will, that it will be first on my list of things to do. Well, see, yeah, okay, see, so that's the other thing. Like every year, I say, like, oh, I'm gonna try and get a rainbow of a Florida guy. But the problem with like Florida baseball as of late is that like Florida baseball has been like too good. So like all of the all the Florida draft picks are high ones. Like you know, not teams. I'm gonna be able to uh, to go after unless I just start. You know, unless I hunt them down individually and then that's just a mess like that. Cause they because they've got like two of them. And, and can can I mention again that Florida beat Florida State today in Tallahassee. Not even beat them but embarrassed them. And that Florida State will not be going uh to a bowl game 
for the first time in 36 years because of that loss. Oh. Dude, I mean, I, I know it is probably not right, but... Uh, Well, okay, so I can. I mean, I. Yeah, yeah. I was not here, so it probably did not go out Friday. But if you got, if you got something you want sent directly to Bergy, I can send it to you. If you want to send it to him yourself, you're more than welcome. I don't care. I gotta tell you, there was like a like a point in like the early third quarter yeah probably early third quarter They're like everything was still kind of still kind of in they were like they, they weren't down were down crazy that florida scored on them and you could just see that they gave up it i mean it, it's probably not healthy but the amount of joy that i took out of watching a team give up. Mm, yeah, that should. I don't know. We. Uh, I don't. Dude, I'm not gonna. I'm. Uh, I'm not gonna get. So, I'm not gonna get involved in personal hate right now. Oh, Char I mean Charles. I mean, as a Clemson fan, sure, but I mean, like they're they're not. Florida State to you is just straight trash. You know, I mean, it's not even like a game to get wor get worked up about. I mean, generally when they play Florida, you know, like. I know it's a cliche, but, you know, records go out the window. That uh, usually, like, you play, you know, a different a different level of game to, you know, because, because it matters so much. And they did. They played strong for a half. They tried hard for a half, and then we broke them. So... Charles, I am glad that we could uh, we, we could help you out. God, I hate FSU. I hate them. I mean, they beat us, I don't know, five or six years in a row, maybe. Just been a pain, just a pain in our ass. And to just to put put a a right solid beat down on them. In their hometown. I mean, that's I mean, that's that's as as much of the joyousness as it is anything. Knowing there is a stadium full of fans that are just going home sad. They they came in so excited, so excited, so ready, and left crushed. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Now, as much, Charles, as much as I am of a uh, SEC guy, if uh, you could go ahead and beat, uh, you know, hang on, it's done there. If you could go ahead and beat like Alabama, I I'd, I'd appreciate it. Love SEC, hate Nick Saban. Hate him. He's a he's an absolute a hole.
Okay, we got all our uh, stuff there. Water real quick because it's gonna take a second. Oh, yeah, Charles, like, I I worked for the Dolphins when he was, like, the coach for that, like, little bit that he was there. Like, I, I, I ran, like, the, the pro shop they had at the training facility. Nobody had anything nice to say about that dude. Nobody had anything nice to say about him. Like, I, just, I remember specifically, specific, there was one guy who was, like, a trainer. I mean, had like a degree, like, like had some degree. It wasn't just like, you know, like some peon, but it was like a, like a full-blown trainer. Whose like job before practice was just to stand like outside. Like there was a stairs down like from his office onto the field, like where practice was. Just stand down at the bottom of those stairs holding like a towel, some gum, and like maybe like, then we may either his hat or maybe with no hat maybe it was just like a towel and some gum that he would just stand there and wait wait for Saban to come down to give him gum and a towel before he went like before he went to practice and for some reason that just like I don't know it just sat so wrong with me and then for him to uh, say like Drew Brees was washed up and to take uh, Dante Culpepper instead was another uh, you know real kick in the D for uh, the Dolphins long term Ted Simmons autograph, okay, Matt. Let's see what I can do for you. All right, let's make some magic happen here. Okay. Well, I guess I need to check that one too. Okay. So I'm going to try and go through this. Pulling out Bo Jackson Future Stars. Pulling out all the variations as I go. Those I've only ever seen like set up like by themselves. I'll still check, but Marcus, how are you doing today? I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, it never seemed like a smart move to me. I mean, because Culpepper was, I mean, frankly, no better than Breeze. I mean, Breeze was coming off of soul, uh, off of shoulder surgery, but I mean, Culpepper was, you know, was was old and and, and frankly kind of busted. Yeah, 
the uh, Sager 225. I don't know. I mean, I, honestly, though, had Drew Brees gone to Miami, like I don't know, you know, I don't know if he, how he would have ended up. If there had been more money in it, that would have been like a good job to have. Like it, it, it was a lot of fun, like hanging out, seeing people. Like I got to see, uh, I got to see Ricky Williams. Uh, shirtless, which at the time was uh, was interesting because he he was the most solid human being that I'd ever seen in my entire life. Like I'd never seen someone so built and so muscular. All right, we got a Phil Garner. Let's start with that for the Pirates autograph. I did spend a lot of time with, uh, what was his name, Field, Field, Fielder. Was it Jay? Fiedler. I can't remember his first name. Quarterback Dolphins had, like his dad, came into the pro shop often just to uh, hang out and chat. Jay Fiedler. He was a good guy. I mean, that was like, I mean, I mean, it's kind of similar here. Like, you just have, you got a lot of time just to sit and talk about, uh, you know, sports and stuff. Thames to 175. Except I was hustling t-shirts and jerseys. He wasn't bad. I mean, he was a game manager. You know, I don't know. I mean, I think the, the team was kind of like too good a little bit. Like, they, did, they didn't know what they had. As I have learned with all of my teams, you know, a game manager is not something to... Uh, you know, not something to be scoffed at. And they were constantly making the playoffs. You can't you can't be super mad about that. But I can't say that his dad was super nice. A Felix Milan for the Mets. I can also tell you that uh, Ricky Williams' wife was stupid hot. I can tell you that uh, Zach Thomas's wife... Or wait, well, did I see her? No, his sister, which was Mar who married Jason Taylor, stupid hot. Got a uh, Max Kepler to uh, 99 for the Twins.
Yeah, I have not met her, San Francisco Gamer. Burt by 11 to uh, 25. Not had the pleasure of, of uh, meeting her in person. I'm saying, like, I'm, I'm saying I've met these people. How are you doing, San Francisco Gamer? Another one who, stupid nice guy, like, really, really nice guy, could not have been sadder about what happened to him, Junior Seau. I remember he came in like like one day for like his foundation or something, and like I mean, dude, dude dropped like eight thousand bucks in like t-shirts and hats and and just just general shite like for the uh, for for him to like give away. I didn't have the money at the time, but there was a security guard that was working there that was willing to trade me. Like, if I bought him an authentic Dolphins jersey, he would get he would get me one signed by either Seau or uh, Ricky Williams. But at the time, it cost me like five hundred bucks, like with with my employee discount. I I didn't have that. Black gold. I mean, it, is it thick, San Francisco Gamer? <laughs> oh, I mean, Charles, I mean, that's, you know, that's like one thing. Like, the Dolphins, like, were, they were just spread out like a just a handful of years if they could have condensed it down just a little bit you know to uh well no i mean 180 is the biggest that i have i mean i've got i, I go 180 130 120 100 75 55 standard so like I mean I, I I mean I would have to see the card like itself but I mean like 180 is about the biggest thing I mean beyond a book I mean 180 like covers everything that we have here A Jim Bouton. Let's get more, more sleeves. For the Yankees to 25. Not super familiar with him. San Francisco Gamer, are you are you in any breaks? Yeah, yeah, San Francisco Gamer. Yeah. Send it to me. I mean, I mean are, you, are you in any breaks that we've got going on now?
I mean, if you've got any any teens, any breaks that we've got happening now, I'll just, I'll just send you a fistful of top loaders. A hey, Rob Nen autograph, Giants. I'm gonna have to go get more of those. Evan Longoria to 175. I'm not going anywhere. I got no plans for now. Might try and buy a Christmas tree tomorrow. Which will just be a next level of hell, but whatever. A Hector Lopez fan favorites. New York Yankees baseball organization. It's un that's not numbered, but it looks like it should be. I'm gonna have to grab uh, some more top loaders or some some, some more sleeves. Give me one second. Giving off no cards uh, that are no good. This probably should not have been my last break. I'm worried this is going to affect room count and my ability to uh, crack down on some uh, filler magical awesomeness. Got a uh, Sandlot Ham autograph. Still haven't watched that movie. I've been busy. With other things, you know, family, friends, giving of thanks, you know, that, that kind of stuff.
I, you know, it's not, I mean, it's not for, like, not wanting to see it. I just, it, it just, I don't know. I guess it was just not, like, around, like, my age time. And I just, I don't know. I have, I, I have such a hard time, like, cutting out, you know, like, an hour and a half a time. So like if I was at some dude's house and we were just hanging out and he said and, and he put on the sand lot, would I sit and watch it? Absolutely. Am I gonna go home at uh, two o'clock in the morning and uh, you know throw it on? Probably not. But I mean, you see, I mean for me, like Major League is like my favorite baseball movie. Like that, I just absolutely love. But, I don't know. One day I will uh, get around to it. Jesse's been telling me how much he loves it. Maybe, maybe I'll, you know, just, just show up at his house one day. Tell him to put it on Netflix and we watch it. A Bill Madlock. For the Pirates. Well, no, I'm talking straight baseball. Pacers fan. Straight baseball. To me is Major League. Golf, Caddyshack. No questions asked. Like if, I mean, that's it's a near bannable offense to say that you don't like Caddyshack. I think I mean I think I have that on my phone even to watch if I wanted to. Mighty Ducks, solid, solid hockey movie. I definitely have have seen that and would watch it again. No, it rah 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 no. Well, it, well I don't know why I'm saying because hashtag rah rah does not. Rara, how are you doing? How was your uh, Thanksgiving? Hey, there's one. And then, you know, I knew it would be sitting around like in a in a weird side spot, but it is a uh, Adrian Beltre, Texas Rangers. Venezuelan uh, grayback variation. Rah rah! How happy belated birthday! I'm sorry, I did not know that. I would have sent you a. St oh damn! Nice card. Going Padres though, oddly enough. Ozzy Smith, Magic Man, rookie. Well, rookie history, but Padres had a 99. Nice card. I'd take that. You know what? Let me do this something right now. So your birthday was the 23rd. No, 
I'll, now I will know forever. Did you do anything fun for your birthday, Rara? Or just your normal, always fun type things? Hanging out at uh, Best Buy, uh, buying uh, buying televisions or something. Dude, my wife loves that stuff, but I just do not understand the like the desire of it because there's nothing that I nothing that I needed nothing that I even wanted that I was willing to go through go through the hell that was hanging out at you know at, at some store to deal with a, a turd ton of other people to to fight for something Uh, this one is number 15. Lee, this one is number 15. Uh, Cisco rookie card. 16 will be, uh, to, I think is I think we're breaking tomorrow. So to uh, 75. And we've got one more stack. No, Lee, anytime. It's what I am it's what I am here for to answer any and all questions that you may have. If you were in this one, there will be a recap at the end of it with all of the uh, hits and variations and stuff that uh, come out of it. If you don't want to sit through the 40 minutes or so that it's going to take to do it all. A Willie Wilson for the Royals autograph. Dude, I have still not seen that Avengers movie. I'm starting to feel I'm starting to feel a little uncomfortable about it that I haven't seen it. It's and again, it's not for lack of want, but like it's not on Netflix. And I just have not had a chance to watch it, like to you know get it on get it on the red box or something. So I, I, I don't know from Thanos, basically. A Shannon Stewart for the Blue Jays. Uh, case play for life, yes. This one is the last one. Uh, 
Okay, I'm doing two two more stacks. Um, I mean, Immaculate Basketball is my preferred uh, preferred choice for next because I think somebody told me that we were down to like ten in that. I mean, I'll, I'll have to take a look and see like where everything sits uh, break-wise, but... I mean, I mean, I will do a quick check to see where everything sits and what we're close on, but I mean, Immaculate Basketball has been in the store forever. And if I can do if I can do something foolish to make that go away, I think we got another gray back variation for uh, Jordan Zimmerman. Venezuelan gray back for the Tigers. That's all right. That's all right. I can still make that happen. I mean, how how you how you don't want Luca? I don't know, but I will still make it happen. I mean, again, if I did not mention, if you did not already know, or I had not mentioned, the Gators beat Florida State in Florida State in a decisive and soul crushing manner like a beat down it wasn't like a late, late you know late touchdown victory it was a beat down they gave up they gave up so i am could not be in a better mood for that so fillers will be magical and hot tonight and i did mean hell if i if i got to give away the maps i don't even give a damn i don't care i'll do it If it comes to it, so let's just get through this last little bit here. Vertigo uh, to 175 for the Dodgers. Let me clean what I got up here to done and check the store, and then we will uh, take that thing to uh, P Town. If you know what I'm saying, and I think that you do. All right, that's rookie history to 99 for uh, Clemente. Okay. All right, so we have autographs for a uh, Shannon Stewart to uh, 99 for the Blue Jays, a Willie Wilson for the Royals, an Ozzy Smith Padres, which to me is super nice, 99. I like it. A uh, Bill Madlock for the Pirates, the uh, Ham for Sandlot, a Hector Lopez for the Yankees, a Rob Nin Giants, a Felix Milan Mets, and a Phil Garn Pirates. We also had uh, card variations for Jordan Zimmerman and Adrian Beltre, uh, Tigers and Rangers, both the uh, Venezuelan Grayback versions. So there that is. Thank you, everybody. We'll get this round to you.